Hello, I am Jeff Buys Cars. Today we are replacing these indicator housings on my Volvo 850. You will need for this job a tent peg, some cable ties, and a Stanley blade. Um, if you've got all the correct parts and yours didn't fall out on the motorway during a high speed test, you might not need the um, Stanley blade or the cable ties, but I'll show you why I need those in just a moment. But you absolutely will need a tent peg. It makes life so much easier. Oh, and you'll need some bulbs as well and obviously some new indicator housings. Now, you'll see on this side, because this one is still attached, there's a spring that clips in just behind here. So what I've done is I'm actually using a tent peg and I use the tent peg to go down in here like that. And you'll see the loop from the bottom of the spring there. Okay, so you've got to grab that just to loosen it off. Remove that from where it clips over and then you can pull out the housing. I've actually accidentally clipped that back in. It's a bit fiddly, but it's relatively straightforward. So now that that's out, you can see there's a spring on the back there, and you can see the condition of these ones compared to the new ones. Um, if I put that one there, so they just get crap in them over the years. But the, these are, you know, cheap and easily available. I think about 25 quid each, so relatively straightforward. Now, the spring doesn't actually come on the back of the new one, so you can see that there's the hole for where the spring seat goes. So I've got to get that spring off there and then I can reattach that one. But this spring has gone missing. I actually lost this indicator housing on the way back from um, Nottingham when I was doing that little car meet up there. And uh, I was doing a bit of a speed test, to be honest. And basically I got so fast that my indicator housing fell out. So I am going to um, bodge that. So more on that in a moment. We'll see how we do that. Also putting new bulbs in at the same time, you can see these clips at the top is what clips it into the back of the indicator housing. Um, so you've got your indicator bulb and then your side lights as well. Mine's a little rusty, uh, but they work. So I'm just gonna clean everything up and that will be that. There we go, that's the right side done. And it turns out the tent peg is actually the best thing that you can use because you've got to hook it through that round part of the spring there and the tent peg did that really nicely. So that was nice and easy. Now I've got to bodge the other side and um, I'll be honest, we have had a disaster. I foolishly left my indicator lenses on my engine and um, they fell off. How embarrassing is that? Look, I've had to super glue the top corner and I can't find that little bit. So most of the uh, time on this job has been spent trying to find the piece that I've broken because I'm an idiot but I know that this doesn't just happen to me. So, um, oh, that's really annoying. It won't be too noticeable, will it? What a bummer. Right, I'm gonna see if I can find that piece and then carry on. This has now actually got quite interesting because I, I didn't have a spring on this side, it's gone missing. But I, what I have found in my toolbox is the spring from a bracket from a Volvo 940 fuel flap. And I've just tested it and it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push that through and then I'm gonna cable tie through that loop on the spring just to secure it. Um, but I, I test fitted it a minute ago and then it wouldn't actually pull out easily. I had to use the tent peg. So this is gonna work. I'm really pleased about that. So um, there you go. The, the blue Volvo 940 that I had has uh, donated its fuel flap spring for my 850. But that is done, it's in. Now, I don't like the way these indicators sit, and maybe if you know your Volvo 850s, you can tell me if I've done something wrong, or if there's a seal or something. Um, it just seems that the gap there and the gap here is odd, but I'll check this against my other 850s later. So, what I have done is I have managed to run um, the spring from that 940 fuel flap clip all the way through, so it hooks on just there. Sorry for the video, but you can see the end of the spring there, the way it hooks into the indicator housing. And then what I've done is I've run this cable tie here around the bracket that holds the, the bonnet secure up thingy. And you can see there how I've, I made the camera focus down there, look. So there you go, you can see, go on. You can see that I've cable tied it through that loop and over the top. So it's all nice and secure and it works. It's a bodge, but it's an effective bodge, and you can't really tell where I uh, dropped the indicators and broke them. So there you go, rookie error. Um, just one of those classic mechanic-y things, isn't it? 
And just after I'd done that, my uh, my wife went to get some stuff out of her BMW and then dropped our favorite mug. So one smashed indicator and one smashed mug. Right, next up, we're gonna change the side repeaters. Uh, this one, and I'm gonna replace it both sides for a clear uh, side repeater. So it's gonna look a little bit better and smoother. This one's dead easy because it's actually very loose. So it just pulls out. So you just pull them out, but I'll see how I get it out on the other side. There's no seal on this indicator. So it has been falling out for ages since I've got the car. I've been meaning to do this for ages and these parts are so cheap. Um, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I will put a list of all the prices um, just there on that red panel. There we go, that's everything this job has cost. Right, all you need to do here is um, push that clip in and pull this bit out, okay? And then your whole indicator assembly should pull out. Right, bear with me while I do that. It is off, so I'm gonna start rebuilding the new assembly. All right, this bit here, quite simply, uh, you just need to rotate and it pops out. And there's your ball. And then that, should just, it's like a USB stick, isn't it? It's always like the very last way that you rotate it. This is when I break it live on camera, isn't it? All right, forget it, we'll do this off camera. Okay, that's done. Turns out I just wasn't pushing hard enough, which incidentally is what she said. And that's done, back on, easiest job ever. It literally just slides backwards and pushes in. So very, very easy to do. Really pleased about that. Right, do the next side. Right, and that is it, all done. It's not as bright with the um, clear indicator housing on, but I do think it looks a bit better. I might go back to um, orange indicator housings at some point, but one of them was a bit broken, but that is all working, which is great. You can see it's definitely not as bright, but I think that's okay. This one was all, like it's all cracked up anyway, so, you know, I might go back to orange ones at some point, but it's nice to know that that's a nice, easy job. And if I hadn't dropped my indicator housing on the floor and spent ages looking for the piece that went missing, it would have taken far less time. Also, if I'd had the correct spring as well, but I can highly recommend the tent peg. Right, job done. I should have done that job ages ago. That indicator housing had been hanging out since I got the car and I never thought to just look and clip it back in. Stupid, really. Oh well. YouTube's most boring car channel.